Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Almond in the Morning. Stacy on the right filling in for Jamie. 314-969-9797 or 866-455-9797. We have our guest coming up, but let's quickly go to the phones. Hey, Ryan, welcome to Almond in the Morning. What's your comment? Hey, Stacey. Thanks, thanks for taking my call. Sure. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised that you wouldn't challenge either of your two previous callers in regards to the comments that they made about education, about, you know, teachers who have really uh, given their their life into making less money but are willing to educate our kids. Um, you know, guest buddy Steve talks about criticizing someone for not going into special education, but then... Uh, then criticizes two special educators just because they don't like his Trump hat. And you well, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, Ryan, are you saying that when he gave the caveat and said not all teachers, he said that like three times before he went into uh, his well, comment? Stacey, you just kept letting him. I mean, obviously, his rant was about education in general, and he's lumping everyone into you know this this big conspiracy, I guess, that public schools are. Um, fulfilling the needs of the workers. And, and you didn't even challenge the second caller who said that you couldn't fill convenience store uh, workers with uh, public educated kids. No, uh, no, he no, said the town different. that was surrounding the place where they were thinking of putting the business. And he was telling right. a story right. that he read this story in right. a newspaper right. someplace. So he's sharing what he read in a newspaper. Right. And what, 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 what would you have preferred that I said? You can't find someone. You can't find someone you man a, 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 a cash register because they're publicly educated and you wouldn't challenge him on that? I mean, that's completely ridiculous. And yeah. then when you look at the, the, the world stats of, you know, the United States spending more money but uh, only being 35th uh, in the world, well, that's because we measure all of our students. We measure our high students, our our special educated students. We're not but, just But are you saying our, that uh, the drop from... The United States being in the top 10 countries down to 36 is because of special needs students? Are you saying that? No, no not at all. Okay. I I'm, so I'm trying to understand why you're disputing the, the facts that they gave, and then they mixed it in with their opinions. And you're upset with me for disagreeing when statistically what he shared, 36 in the world, that's the truth. And the fact that we're having trouble finding people to go into the military who are coming from public school districts, that's the truth. Speak to the recruiter for the state of Missouri. Ask her how she's filling the slots for uh, the United States Army. She's having trouble filling the slots because kids from public schools in the state of Missouri can't pass the ASVAB. That's the military entrance test. So, I mean, I, I understand that you may not have liked what you heard, but it doesn't mean that I should have challenged it. They were giving their opinions just like you're giving yours. No, but, but Stacey, it's one thing to give an opinion, but for you as the host of the show, not to challenge their opinion <laughs> and not to let all of your listeners understand that when you talk about 35th in the world, you're not me you're measuring apples to oranges. You're not measuring apples to apples. So there is it, a it's an apples there. to and apples you, comparison with the most of the countries. And, that, and Ryan, so I, I understand that you don't like what was said, but you're, you're over-talking me, and that's rude. So... You know, I gave you an opportunity to share what you felt, and I gave the previous two callers an opportunity to share what they felt. And because I'm not picking fights with every caller doesn't mean that there's anything wrong going on. You know, when I do vociferously challenge the callers, then I get people tweeting me, you're always so angry, you're always so mad. You don't <laughs> like win. people who disagree with you. You never let anyone finish their sentence. Okay, well, anyway. So what, now we're going to go to Mark Meckler, who I'm so excited to speak to. He's at Mark Meckler on Twitter. Uh, conventionofstates.com is the website, and we're going to talk about the Convention of States. Hey, Mark, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me, Stacey. Sure, I'm not okay. going to get mad at you. I think you're doing a great job. Oh, <laughs> thanks. And I have to ask you, so before we get started, can you hold over the break, or do you have another interview? Yeah, I can hold over, no problem. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, let's get started then, because we just have a couple of minutes. Can okay. you first lay out what you're trying to accomplish with the conventionofstates.com? Sure. I mean, uh, the most simple way to put it is we've got a problem in America. It's not really about what we should do. It's about who decides. And right now, most of the things in this country uh, are decided in Washington, D.C. The people don't like that. About 75% of Americans think D.C. is too big and does too much. And thank God the founders gave us a gift in Article 5 of the Constitution, and they said, we the people have a right to get together in a convention 
to propose amendments to the Constitution to restrain federal tyranny. So that's what we're doing. It takes 34 states to call a convention. Eight states have already made that call. Uh, it's being considered here in Missouri in the upcoming legislative session and probably 38 other states. So we're organizing that effort all across the country. Wow. Okay. So this is a movement. This isn't just some, you know, fly by night type of thing where a few people are upset. And I understand that Mark Levin is actually in support of the Convention of States. Is that right? Yeah. He wrote the book uh, Liberty Amendment. It's literally about the use of Article 5 to call this convention. He's a big supporter of ours. He serves on my legal advisory board. And it is a movement. There are 2.1 million people today participating in the movement. They're in every single state legislative district in the nation, which has never been done before by any organization. So this is a serious movement, and we intend to take the power away from D.C. Okay, so when we come back after the break, you have a number of of, uh, issues. It's like you outline the problem, and then you have spending and debt crisis, regulatory crisis. I want to kind of go into each of those when we get back, and we'll have more time to do that. Um, But before we go, it's Citizens for self-governance. You are the president and you're one of the nation's most effective grassroots activists. You co-founded and were the national coordinator for the Tea Party Patriots, founded Citizens for Self-Governance, and you want to revolutionize the American government. Founded in uh, 2012, your initiative expands and directs the ever-growing bipartisan self-governance movement. And you appear on all of the fun the fun shows, MSNBC, ABC, NBC, Fox News and CNN, Bloomberg, Fox Business and BBC. So I'm really excited about digging into this more when we get back. Uh, hold on, Mark. We'll be right back with you right after this.